Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to night number 11 out of my 13 nights of fright. Now if you are new consider hitting that subscribe button and of course don't forget to give this video a like. Now tonight we're going to be talking about Rosemary's Baby. Now once again these are all first time watches for me. I don't know why I kept imagining like this nanny that was going to kill the baby for some reason. I mean I the only thing I really knew about it was her going over the cradle with like a knife. I just always imagined that that lady wasn't, well, that lady, Mia Farrell, sorry, Mia Farrell, was the nanny for some reason. And I was like, oh, she's gonna be cray cray. And she's gonna kill the baby or try to like steal the baby. And then I was remembering that I was comparing that to the hand that rocked the cradle. I don't know why I was kind of putting those two together for some reason, but no, you guys. Um, Little did I know, little did I know that I was going to be getting myself into like this very weird, strange movie going in. Because going in, I'm just like, I was confused. I'm just like, this is weird. I tend to not really go into like spoiler territory or big major spoilers. But I'm going to do that here because it is like a big spoiler. Because we don't really find out what's happening too much until they're at the end. But I'm going to tell you guys. Now during this time period... The satanic church was like a big thing. So this has to do with satanism, you guys. But just kind of how anybody can be a satanic person, right? It's not just gothic looking people like the normal suspect. They can literally be this nosy ass couple next door that looks super normal and they can be satanist too it is like a horror psychological thriller type of deal and i feel like this is one of those movies that kind of goes deeper into the behind the scenes of what is happening within the movie if that makes sense that probably doesn't make sense but there's more to it behind the message behind it i guess would be the scary part of it um the not being able to trust your loved one your husband in this case because he will literally sell you to the devil to get his wish. In this case, Guy, who is not necessarily a struggling actor, but he's not to the level, to the point in his career where he wanted to be. And he basically ends up being sontacado. He gets persuaded by these people to join their cult, join this church of Satan. And he basically ends up giving his wife to the devil to spawn the son of Satan. And in return, he will become a successful actor. Mm -hmm. Her husband, you guys. Her husband does this to her. Rosemary is a very fragile character. I mean, Mia Farrow just generally is a very petite person. So I feel like this role just really fit her perfectly. Because like I said, Rosemary, very fragile, very vulnerable, very much somebody that you can manipulate, somebody that you can really push over somebody who's not really going to defend themselves the way that she's treated the way that she's put aside the way that once she kind of gets to this place she's a newlywed you guys okay they're they're pretty early on newlyweds and they're trying to you know at some point start a family they do talk about this kind of when everything kind of goes but even before that the way that they try to run her life not just her husband but the neighbors as well before she even gets pregnant but it just gets 10 times worse once she does she literally loses who she is as a person her identity they judge everything you guys they don't allow her to have friends they don't allow her to read books she basically get hostage in her own home she barely leave her house i mean the moment that she leaves her house here comes the neighbor just randomly running into her and it's like oh honey you've been out so long let's let's take you back home i feel so bad for her like the way that she played this character again, just this woman that has basically no rights. So again, during this time, like our rights weren't really there, you know, it, it, they were taking advantage of. They were manhandled by the man, right? And the way that she's playing this character who's like literally constantly in pain because she is spawning the son of Satan. Her makeup was awesome because, I mean, they literally make her look almost very bony, very malnourished, very not healthy whatsoever literally constantly you guys in pain pretty much throughout her pregnancy or like that get like the first trimester two trimesters i don't know you guys she said months and let me actually back up a little bit you guys to the conceiving of this child her husband basically ends up drugging her the nosy neighbor does bring this um 
like parfait deal that she didn't like she's like something's wrong with this chalky guy basically forces her to eat it was pursuing her because it was drug for her to pass out so they can then kind of form this like ritual around around her it's a very like awkward uncomfortable like i don't know this scene you guys and she's led to believe that she's basically having sex with her husband but then it turned out to be satan and the way that that was kind of like handled by the husband later on the next morning was like oh i didn't want to miss like baby making time and she's all like well i was out like she knew that she was basically raped by her husband because regardless if it is your husband if you're unconscious that's fucking rape because you need to be like there like yes i am like in this and regardless of husband or not no is no and being conscious and not conscious is a whole other deal anywho you guys i really don't want to get too too much into it the performances were good it's very creepy very weird very i don't know like i guess psychological thriller going on here there's like a build a build up obviously towards it and once you find out what the actual thing is like i said satanic cult here it's just i don't know you guys even when we get to the final scene when the baby is born and stuff like that what have you done to him you maniac it ends interesting <laughs> you guys i kind of wanted more from it i did want more it is very kind of like slow base again nothing like terrifying or anything like that but it is terrifying in the concept of satanism i really don't know how i feel about the movie i know how i feel about satanism and like possessions and stuff it's just not, not really my cup of tea and if i had known this was what, what this movie was about i probably wouldn't have watched it to be honest with you thankfully it wasn't popping out creepy stuff like that because with that said it is a great movie just generally it is the performances and everything and it's a, a really good movie it's just not really my cup of tea just so much to it that it's just like wrong just socially wrong i guess would be the best thing Again, it's just not something that I personally would rewatch myself. I am still going to give it a medium popcorn, so it's still a high up there score, but we did call it on our large popcorns. Tomorrow night, we are going to be doing a book compar book movie comparisons with The Shining, so look out for that. Um, of course, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. I feel like this particular video compared to the other ones had a different tone. Um, just i didn't mean to have this particular tone it's just i don't know like stuff like this really scares me <laughs> that's why i don't like to watch movies like this because they really are scary and just things that could actually happen like, if you've seen rosemary's baby let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you if you haven't seen it it's something that you're gonna be looking into now checking out i know i went a little bit more into it again i feel like it's one of those movies that you kind of have to dissect or whatever it is a really good movie but it's just not really one for me all right guys that is it for me tonight i'll see you guys tomorrow bye